In the summer of the strike, the latest labor dispute is unfolding on both sides of the border. We're dealing with a bunch of billionaires. They, they don't care about us. American employees at the big three automakers, GM, Stellantis and Ford, have been on strike since last week. And they could soon be joined by 5,000 Canadian workers. The union that represents them is in talks with Ford, but says both sides are far apart. Down, down with the bosses! The NDP insists it's part of a trend across the country. With the cost of inflation going up, with companies making huge profits, we deserve our fair share. Unifor is negotiating with Ford on a deal that could become a blueprint for workers at GM and Stellantis. The union wants better pensions and higher wages as the industry embarks on an electric vehicle revolution. They are in the middle of making huge investments and changes to transition. And the strike is coming right bang in the middle of this transition. That transition includes multi-billion dollar subsidies from the federal government. Well, obviously we're watching, but as you know, you, you see that on both sides of the border, that you say an action on one side of an impact on both sides. The strike in the U.S. is already threatening to disrupt Canadian production. They're very deeply intertwined. Almost any vehicle assembled on one side of the border or the other is getting components. The automotive sector has not fully recovered from the pandemic. So there are concerns that if strikes drag on, it will only add to supply chain issues and make it even harder to buy a new car in Canada. Taria Isri, Global News, Ottawa.